Welcome back. The corrupt campaign against President Trump continues. President Trump truthing today. Shocking. One of the top prosecutors at the Department of Injustice was reportedly so obsessed with getting Trump that he tried to bribe and intimidate a lawyer representing someone being targeted and harassed to falsely accuse and fabricate a story about President Donald J. Trump and a crime that doesn't exist. This criminal and salacious act from within the DOJ has brought shame and embarrassment to this once great and respected institution. Because of this, there is now extreme turmoil inside the DOJ. How long do we have to witness this conspiracy against the only man standing up for we the people unfold? Thankfully, there are many great patriots, freedom fighters, and truth tellers still in the fight to save America. Joining us now to discuss, patriot and recording artist Natasha Owens. Thanks so much for being with us today. It's great to have you. Thanks for having me. I always appreciate it. Absolutely. So it seems the deep state doesn't sleep. And do you think it's a coincidence the efforts have seemingly ramped up yet again after Trump announced his candidacy? Oh, when you look at the numbers for the 2024 election and President Trump being so far ahead, they're desperate. This President Trump is a man who always put America first. He always uh, fought for the people. He was a president for the people. And they're so intimidated and threatened by that. It reminds me of what the Nazis did back in World War II with the Gestapo. Uh, and it's a signal to all Americans that if they will go against the Constitution and the law to, to make up charges on a former president, they, they will do that to any American citizen. Yeah, they sure will. He's a living, breathing example of just that. But, you know, patriots and freedom fighters know the truth. We know a few weeks from now, Trump will be proven right again. And while Trump is on the front lines fighting the establishment, great patriots and freedom fighters like yourself continue to fight and bring awareness to what's really going on. And you use your gift of song to amplify this message. Let's go ahead and check out a clip from your newest song, America First. It's going to be only America first. America first. America first. America first. This is from the heart. I make no apology. I'm 
love it. So patriotic. Natasha, tell us a little bit about your creative process for your new song. You know, it was very easy. We've been a follower of President Trump from the moment he came down the escalator. And his message that the American people resonated with was America first. Now, this administration that we have now is America last. You know, they want to give to everyone else. They want to bring immigrants in. But we have people who are suffering here in the United States. We have veterans and kids that are homeless and kids that, that aren't eating during the day when school isn't in. And so I just decided to put into word how I really feel that if we are electing someone and they can't say American for America first, then they don't deserve to lead. Yeah, you are absolutely right. And you know, it's strange because being patriotic, unfortunately, in this day and age that we're living in is so unpopular with the mainstream culture. So thank you for not being a sellout. But I'm sure doing the unpopular thing has cost you in certain ways. Have you experienced any pushback or canceling after uh, coming out with your song? Oh my goodness, you have no idea. Just that the American Patriot album that I put out last year made me very unpopular amongst the, the minority that's yelling. I know that the majority of Americans are patriotic, they love this country, and they are standing behind me and supporting, and it overshadows any hate that I am getting. It has been incredible. We did a Trump One song back last month, and this month, America First, we're doing this Spangled Banner next month, and every single month of this year, we're putting out a new video and a new song, really hitting all these hot topics, from the Second Amendment to the two genders. Well, we sure do love it. your outspokenness and your uh, fire to speak the truth here at OAN. It's, it's so great to see it, and I wish more people would start catching on. We need more patriotic music. I think we could really uh, start a, some sort of revival with all the patriots uh, joining together to create a new wave in the culture. Um, but I would love to know, Natasha, before we let you go, do you have a message for President Trump and our OAN viewers to keep fighting to save America? You know, President Trump said on the CPAC stage that he could sit down and uh, retire and they would leave him alone, but he loved us too much. He loved this country too much. And so I would just say we need to stand up and start fighting. It doesn't matter if we're canceled or hated, we're doing the right thing. And President Trump, keep up the good work. We are behind you. The majority of Americans are behind you and keep up the message of America first. Amen to that. Well, Natasha, thank you so much for joining us today and thanks for all your thank great you. work. We really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Take care.